everybody. I have a 15 minute mini session and I'm going to be sharing energy work and wisdom for a client today. I'm going to go ahead and read the goals here and get started. All right. So, all right. I'm having a problem with my husband's kin. They practice black magic. I want you to make a video to remove black magic demons and negative entities from spaces both indoors and outdoors and from everything there is in the house, including clothes, shoes, and food, if possible. Whenever I'm in the space or wear these clothes, I experience trembling, palpitations, heat, pains, diseases of all kinds, relationship problems, financial problems, you name it. The list is endless. Okay. Hmm. Wow, what a situation you got there. Okay. Let's see what we find, okay? And this session for you is going to be really awesome. It's going to help you a lot. And then anyone watching this video, if you're having any types of issues, similar issues, I have a feeling this video may also help you too. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we find out. Okay, I will say this, this may get a little bit tricky here. So the, I walk into what is like a black hair hanging down, all right? And then the hair kind of parts open and there's a face, although I can't really see it. But I also see the echoes of many um, faces, let's just say. And it feels like this is coming from everywhere. So there's, there's inner, actually the, the experience of energy that is coming from everywhere. And the reason why this is complicated is because it really is coming from everywhere. And I have to figure out why and where and how we can just chill this out so it can just be at peace. Okay. This is feeling a little bit vulnerable here in the heart now. This is a, this part is in conjunction with you. Okay. Okay. There's going to be a little bit going on here because I'm venting a lot of stuff out of you. Um, you got an awful energy that's just coming around the back of your head too. And it's very uncomfortable. Very, 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 very uncomfortable. <sighs> All right. So just tell your soul everything's going to be okay here. Are you're like, there's all kinds of noises going on and I, I can only do one thing at a time. So <sighs> okay. All right, so you're starting to feel back to balance again. Let's talk about what's going on here. You, your soul chose a life, this life here, and what you're going through in this life to reconcile something, okay? So all this is kicking up is a lot of dust and dirt for you because their black magic has absolutely no power over you, zero power. But what it is doing is helping you to heal what is extraordinary timeline of difficulties, okay? This seems to be a theme right now. <laughs> okay, let me see. So my spirit guides want me to tell you first and foremost that what is being what is taking place and what you are perceiving as black magic not to see this with negativity actually to see this as as the catalyst or the tool that is helping your soul to bring to the surface lots of different traumas and feelings and experiences so that you can face them and release them 
So how are you as a human being to actually cope with many different realities going on here? Because this is an emotional human experience. It's confusing. It's draining. It's overwhelming. Simultaneously, it is purging and healing old wounds, which is part of the emotional traumatization of this. Also, trying to make sense of this black magic stuff. One thing I want to tell you, first and foremost, that there's literally no energy in the whole universe that has power over you. So that black ant magic is their stuff, not your stuff. It's entirely their stuff. So you can give all of that back to them at any time. So if you're getting dressed and you're starting to feel, because you're clearly energy sensitive, you're feeling stuff on the very clothes. You're feeling stuff in the very food. Now, whatever is the black magic effect, all you have to do is just send it back, okay? Whatever is tainting the clothes today or the food, I'm, I'm allowing this energy to return to its source. It is as easy as this. Now you have to stand firm in what you are stating and allowing it to return. Because if you state it, but you don't believe in it and you feel vulnerable, you're going to remain congested with that energy, okay? So you have to believe in what you state and the power of your own intentions because they are powerful, okay? They are powerful. Now, what is your stuff? Now we can work on it because those, whatever the black magic is that you're picking up on, a tainting going on, we're just going to send all the energy back and what remains is stuff you're working on, okay? Your own soul stuff. So this is one way that we can sort of part the seas Black magic goes back over there. Whatever's remaining is my stuff. All right, that's how we're going to start working on this. Okay, you, you really tell me there's no, that no, there's no way. Um, this is really, really bad. And your third eye is really, um, there's a lot of vibrations going on in here that create uh, sensory difficulties. Your heart is totally jammed up too. And I, again, say, I'm going to separate you actually from the black magic. I'm just literally going to separate you and the black magic. And we're going to allow ourselves to see the black magic as an actual person. Just a form. Like an energy body. We'll just see it as just a black energy being, okay? Because it's black magic. We'll just use this. And so I've separated you from black magic. And black magic now is standing before us. All right, a lot, a lot of... All right, this is all you, you releasing stuff here, okay? All right, you got a lot of trauma going on. Okay, it's coming out the back here of your, of your head as well. I tell you, you're doing a really great job. We're going to just stand here as totally balanced people and have a, just a normal balanced conversation with black magic. We don't have to let black magic decide our lives. We don't have to tell, have black magic tell us what we're going to do and how it's going to look and how it's going to feel. We decide what we want out of life. And then that's what we do. So it's your choice. Your choice now. All right, there's the next thing we're going to look at here. Black magic is literally saying nothing. It's just an opportunity again for you to cope with this energy in a new way. And not see it, just see it as a plant sitting in the corner has nothing to do with your life other than that it's a plant sitting in the corner. That's all that it is. It's literally just that. It has nothing to do with you. But it's actually a catalyst to help you purge a lot of stuff from your journey, from your soul timeline. But now that we understand this, we're going to continue to look at black magic as just a, a plan in the corner or just like a little object on, you know, just it's, it's literally, we can even set the plant outside. We can even set the plant a um, hundred miles away so you don't even have to look at the plant. All right. So it's just, it's just an object. It's just a, just another thing. The only way that that has power is when energy is put into it and then you allow yourself to absorb that energy inside yourself because you feel um, that it is more powerful than you. 
you you wouldn't believe some of the tiniest little fairies are so ridiculously bright and powerful that all of the black magic in an infinite universe has zero zip zilch power over that tiny little fairy light. And the fairy doesn't have to be anything but the fairy. And the black magic can be the black magic. And the fairy doesn't have to be contaminated or destroyed or ripped apart by it. Black magic can do whatever black magic wants to do, but fairy can be the fairy still. Black magic doesn't taint the fairy unless the fairy says, <gasps> ah! And now the black magic owns the fairy. The black magic takes the fairy in the grasp of its hands and said, Ah, you're afraid of me. Now I'm going to suffocate you and destroy you. But if you just stand there and just be who you are and have no vulnerability towards it, it has no, it has no power. It has zero, zero power. Now, the next thing that I want to tell you that there's something to what you're going through that is creating a very, um, there's abundance energy. And the negativity that you're processing on a regular basis is creating negative abundance is I, I never have to talk about abundance very often, but I, I will say it's loud and clear here in your energy field that there's a, a negative abundance taking place, okay? I want to ask you a question. What, okay, how do I want to put this? What, what is it, what is it that you want to get out of life? So, what is it that, what is it, what is the life that you want to live? Um, I'm just going to ask some more questions just to throw it out there, okay? We'll just, have you ever confronted them about this? Black magic stuff? Have you ever said anything? Are you afraid to talk to them about it? How did this come to the surface of your awareness? How are you intermixed with um, a family that participates in what would be defined as evil energy? Is that a reflection of who you are? Are you a reflection of somebody, a victim of evil energy? And you cannot leave that evil energy? You have the right to say, you know what? I'm putting my foot down. I want nothing. And I mean nothing to do with this. And I want so nothing to do with this. I am going to leave now. You also have the right to do that. And however anybody else is affected, that's their stuff. It has nothing to do with you. Because you're the powerful fairy light. And you own your own light and your own self and you stand firm in who and what you are. And that's their stuff. It has nothing to do with you. You, your true essence, what is, what is the frequency of self-love when you allow yourself to stay in a situation where you feel that everything in your life is tainted with darkness and evil and disgusting black magic energy? What is that saying about how you love yourself? You see? This is some hardcore messages here. It's something really deep to think about. Because you have the power to walk away at any time. I know there's some situations where it's like, well, I can't just walk away. I just, I literally just can't walk away. Okay. If you can't walk away, how are you going to cope with this? How are you going to overcome the vulnerabilities associated with this? You have to learn communication. And you need to put this elephant in the room. If this is an elephant in the room thing, it needs to come out. It needs to be discussed. You don't have to hold all this inside yourself. This stuff needs to come out and be discussed. You have a right to your feelings and what you want to get out of life. You have a right to that. And nothing they do has a right to defile your life. Because that is their junk. If they want to defile other people's lives, that just says a lot about the type of people they are. And you don't need to hang out with those types of people, even if they're kin. That is not okay. That's really taking place. But I will say you've got a lot, a lot of different stuff going on here, okay? This uh, session is going to help you, I can already tell. Because your heart feels a shift. And your mind is thinking a bit differently. And your balance is, is more empowered, okay? Hmm. So right now there's just like a, an intermission. There's nothing happening right now. 
because what you're doing inside yourself is collecting all of these communications and processing them inside yourself to decide what it means to you and what you will do with it. I say, if you want to, why not, why not tell black magic you don't need its help anymore? That this just hear me out on this. You, it would appear as though you never asked black magic to help you. You want nothing to do with it. But a part of your soul said, yes, I want to have this experience. Part of your soul did. So now you can say that I want to work through what is coming up here and what is creating all this vulnerability and everything that I am feeling even about day-to-day -day life. And I want to thank Black Magic for all your help in jump-starting this healing, but I don't need your help anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and let you do whatever you do. And the rest of my life, I'm going to work on this through another means. So now you're bringing all the energy of your life and what you want to get out of your life back into yourself. And Black Magic just goes over there. Okay? That's how you work with energy. Because Black Magic is just energy too. Love is also energy. Love, um, black magic is also love. Love is everything. Love is chaos and it is everything. But but the angelic, heavenly, wonderful love, like um, we love that, right? But the black magic love that uh, challenges us and freaks us out and gets us emotional, we don't love that. <laughs> but the thing is, is you are already everything. So you are all creations of love, of chaos, of everything in an infinite universe. So for you to feel um, a lot of negativity, you're feeling it towards a part of yourself in the infinite universe. We have to remember we're entirely connected to everything. It's just another way to look at this. So when I say just, you know, appreciate black magic for what it is, that doesn't mean you have to worship it. That doesn't mean that you have to kiss its feet and say, oh, thank you, black magic. You can say, um, thanks. I get it now. I get it now. You've been like a weird spirit guide. And I don't, I, I don't, I'm never going to understand all the reasons why, because I'm simply human, but I get it now. And I'm okay with me just being me. And I don't need this influence anymore for me to start working on my own inner stuff. That is all you have to say to, to respect black magic and let it do its own thing and to bring the energies back to yourself, okay? I can already feel you, your energies are coming back to yourself. Like I can already feel it because I feel like I'm becoming more substance. I feel like I'm, I, I can breathe more deeply. My heart feels a lot lighter. Um, I have a, a clearer mind. There's still congestion um, when it comes to your processes, but I will say major improvement, super major improvement. You're already going to be on the pathway to empowerment and you just needed this, this jump start, okay? Hmm. Okay, that's all I can share with you for this session. And thank you so much for reaching out. And I'm so happy to help you. And really unique situation you got going on there. But you got this thing. Because you are powerful. Okay? And just, just own your own inner strength and inner beauty and your own light. And that light dissolves anything negative. Just keep doing that. Because you're bright. Okay? All right. Thank you so much. And uh, for those of you watching, if, if you're interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, I hope you all have a great day.